question there? I found the similarity between Kay's life story and Ellen's life story so similar, and I wonder whether we can have elaboration from the two of them. I mean, uh, the idea of having psychotherapy with severe mental illness is itself um, a little bit surprising in the modern era where psychotherapy has sort of been downplayed. But to have psychoanalysis with schizophrenia is practically unheard of. When I was a house officer at Harvard, schizophrenic patients were routinely treated with analytically oriented psychotherapy. And that was one of the first studies that showed that it doesn't really work very well for schizophrenia. So obviously, it's sort of the combination of things that's important. And I wonder whether the two of them might comment on this. Why don't we start off with Ellen first? Um, I think it is the case that uh, people don't think psychodynamics, certainly psychoanalytic therapy, is indicated for people with schizophrenia. Um, here to tell you that it is for some people. Um, and I try to think of the different ways it's been helpful. I mean, that's sort of the $60,000 question with all therapy. Is it relationship? Is it insight or whatever? And I think of a number of things that have helped me, and they're not only unique to psychoanalysis. And one is, um, you know, stress is bad for our illness, in particular mental illness, and to be able to understand your triggers and either learn to cope with them or avoid them is very important. Another thing that I think is important is that part of the resistance to taking something else that's essential, the medication, is the narcissistic injury of having the illness and working through those feelings of damage and, and defectiveness is really important uh, in, in one's recovery. I think having a place you can bring your frightening thoughts. I mean, I think some therapists have the goal don't say those, get the patient not to articulate those or say those out loud. For me, having a place that I could say them safely was very important and let me not say them in, in my work and uh, world. Um, uh, what, what else? I, mean, I think interpretations can detoxify uh, symptoms, not always. I mean, some people think that psychotic symptoms are just random firings of neurons. Some think they're meaningful. But interpreting doesn't help when the person's experiencing them. And some people think that sometimes it can help. Um, in the last group. I don't think it can always help, but it sometimes can help. And then finally, the relationship. You know, having someone who accepts you not only for the good, but also the bad and the ugly is an enormously empowering. Um, another way to think about this is that, you know, people with schizophrenia are people too, and we have relationship issues and we have work issues that can be addressed through psychotherapy. And I think of kind of current research trends like Steve Martyr doing studies not just in reduction and remission of symptoms, but quality of life, and I think therapy helps with quality of life. So on lots of different, uh, in lots of different vectors, I think it can be very helpful complement to medication. And I know the early studies didn't involve medication, and it'll be interesting to study both, psychotropic medication and good yeah. intensive therapy. And there's another thing that maybe you would comment on, Kay. The what is common also between the two of you is that you're highly intelligent. And intelligent is a form of ego strength. And I just wonder whether the outcome studies that have been done on people who have recovered successfully have taken that into consideration. Yes, but not always to the advantage of, uh, I mean, in schizophrenia, for example, there's some literature that suggests that it is the more highly intelligent early on in their disease who kill themselves because of the increased insight of the unraveling of their future um, through the illness. So it's, it's complicated, I think. I think that I, ha I don't think I can add to uh, Professor Sachs' comments. They were terrific about psychotherapy. I, I would emphasize the fact that not taking medication is a psychological issue. It's not a medical issue. Right. Um, but it has enormous medical uh, implications. And that uh, the relationship with a, with a good doctor is hugely important. Uh, the problem is, as we all know, is that you're a really good doctor. I would also <laughs> add one other thing to your point, Dr. Kandel, about intelligence or not. I, I, don't, I don't know the research if it's a good prognostic sign or not. For me, the thing that's important is that I like working. I like thinking. I like yeah. writing. And, and to that extent, my whatever intelligence I've had has really helped me kind of navigate having this illness. 